How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today we're taking a look at Workhorse and I know I did a video on them earlier so hopefully you like this update and I will actually give another update on some other stocks that have been in the news recently and give that to you either tomorrow or Thursday but I want to talk about Workhorse because it was up massively today. It started the day off around $19 and shot up over 25% up to about $24 almost, and then came back down to a reasonable 8% up on the day. So I want to talk about it. I want to go over why it went up possibly. I think there are two main reasons, and I know that as an investor in a stock, usually you look for the reason the stock went up during the day that went up because you want to know how important the news is. You want to know whether you should be investing more. You want to be in the know on the stocks that you own some of their shares in. So I can understand, especially when it's hard to figure out why the stock went up. It can be very frustrating, even though the stock is going up. It can be frustrating not knowing why, if it's just speculation or if it's something that actually came out that's really good news. So I want to go over the two reasons I think it's up today. And then also talk to you about why I bought more shares in the company because I actually bought more this morning before it ran up and talk to you about how significant a position I added to my portfolio today. So before we get into it, if you don't mind, hitting the like button. I really appreciate it. I'm actually doing this the same day that you see it. So I got home from work and hopefully this is up pretty soon. Uh, there's some transferring process and some editing that has to occur, but hopefully you get it as soon as possible because I want you guys to be in the know as soon as possible. So if you want to help support this kind of hustle, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Also, comment what do you think about this down below. Do you think this is good news for Workhorse? Obviously, I think it's good news because they went up significantly on the day. But let me know if you were trying to buy more before this happened. And then also, too, if you want to start up with Webull, they have a promotion right now. And this is actually how I heard about what happened with Workhorse. So there are two main things, but both of them I found out from Webull because they have a really good comment section and news section in there. But they do have a promotion right now where you can get up to four free stocks if you sign up and then also if you refer someone else. So you need to sign up, deposit $100, then you get one free stock worth up to $1,650. And then if you refer someone else, you can get three free stocks, each worth up to $1,600. So it's a really good promotion that they have going on right now. If you have a significant other or a friend or a parent that would be willing to sign up for it through your referral link. So the links to those are down below. I appreciate it and let's get into it. So as you can see here, Workhorse was up pretty big on the day, came back down a pretty significant amount actually, came down about 10 to 12% depending on when you're seeing this. And there are two main reasons for this. One, I believe, is Nikola. So Nikola had some news today, and I'll show you here in a second. But this news caused them to go up about 44% throughout the day and in the aftermarket hours. This is something I did not see coming and was pretty big news in the sector in general. And then there was one other piece of information that I think was a lot harder to figure out, but I think maybe has a little bit more direct correlation with why they went up. But both of these, I think I would take into account. And then again, I'm going to show you what I added to my Robinhood account this morning and the cost basis and all that. So the first reason I think they were up was Nikola announced that GM will supply batteries and fuel cells to Nikola electric trucks. They also announced a partnership where they were going to invest about $2 billion in the company. So this is something that I did not see coming. They are taking an 11% equity stake in Nikola. They are also going to supply the batteries and the fuel cells for their trucks. So this is something that's amazing to me. I understand that they're trying to branch out into the EV space. So they are helping Lordstown. They have a kind of a relationship with Lordstown Motors. They also are coming out with their own trucks. And then they also have this new equity stake in Nikola Motors. They are really putting a lot of time and effort and money into the EV sector and they're branching out in multiple ways. So that is interesting to see for Nikola. I think it's great. They don't have a product even yet. So the fact that they're getting GM to not only invest, but also to supply the batteries and fuel cells, which is arguably the hardest part of building the truck is that technology to get them to be able to supply those to them, I think is awesome for Nikola. Now, the other catalyst that I think really maybe push the price up is the fact that Lordstown Motors came out and they actually put on Twitter. So this is actually after they went up a little bit today, but then they bumped up about another five to 10% after this. 
that they had reached over $2 billion in pre-order revenue from their electric truck. So if you don't know how Lordstown and Workhorse are connected, Workhorse owns 10% of Lordstown. So when Lordstown Motors does well, Workhorse does well. So the fact that they already have pre-orders of $2 billion is awesome. That is going to really help out Workhorse. If they can be able to get a bigger equity stake, that's going to naturally push up the price of Workhorse. So those are the two main reasons that Workhorse was being pushed up today. I think those are both really important. Uh, the first one, and I didn't really hit on this, but the first one is really important just because in general, the market is going insane for EV. So I think this was kind of a roundabout way of pushing Workhorse up. The fact that there are these companies that are investing in EV so heavily and willing to help out EV companies is awesome. I think that's going to kind of trickle down, especially for some of these smaller type of players. So the fact that big companies like GM are willing to invest in Nikola when Nikola hasn't really done anything, well, that's great for Workhorse because Workhorse already has a product. They already have revenue streams. They already have clients. They have potential for a big deal. I think that that kind of indirectly pushes up the stock price, the fact that they are just in this sector. And then something like the Lordstown Motor pre-order revenue really pushes it up more directly because they own part of Lordstown Motors. Now, I told you that I bought some shares today, and depending on how much money you have in the stock, you might think this is a lot, you might think this is nothing. Uh, I owned about 22 shares starting the day off, and I put in this order to buy more shares. So I bought about another 11 shares, 11 and a half shares today, and I bought them at about $19 a piece. Now, overall, I have about 32 and a half shares. This is not a huge position, depending on who you are, but for me, this is a pretty significant position on a company that's pretty speculative, right? So a lot of us are guessing or betting that they get this USPS contract, but we don't know that that's going to happen. If they don't get it, it could push the price down significantly, but I feel pretty strongly about this. Last week, I came out with news on how they are hiring about 200 employees, even more than 200 employees. They're going to work on the line. They're going to be able to be engineers and logistics people for the company. I think this is really good news. The fact that they are hiring all these employees when a lot of other companies like Ford are actually laying them off. So Ford is laying off, I believe it was 1,200 employees. And this is at the same time that they're competing with Workhorse for this contract. I think that's really a good sign for Workhorse, especially because they don't have that many employees right now. I think they have right around 100 to 150. When I looked it up on that video, they had 118. So the fact that they're adding all these employees, I think is a really good sign. There are a ton of different reasons to invest in Workhorse, but that was really the major catalyst that made me want to invest more in them. But let me know your thoughts below. Are you buying more Workhorse or are you kind of holding off on it until they get the USPS contract? I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys again for hitting the like button and then also for using those links down below if you want to start with M1 Finance and be able to invest with fractional shares or whether you want those free stocks through Weeble or if you want to join our Patreon, you can join our investing group and kind of get to pick each other's brains in that. It's a pretty active group and I do portfolio reviews too in some of my videos. So if you want to be added to that, you can join the Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it and I will see you with a video tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.